Oh, goody. All right, what's up, everybody? Zombies here again. And today we've got another team comp for you. So today we're actually revisiting the kind of meta tyrant from last meta, GVT, Grom Valera Thrall. A little bit different this time, though. Instead of a nature or CDC backline, we're actually going with a shadow backline. So we're going with Natalie, Vol'jin, and Sinestra. Um, so I've talked about it before, and I'm sure I'll talk about it again. But in this meta, it really pays to have flexible openers um, because a lot of the best comps right now have flexible openers. So you don't always know what they're going to be opening with and you do want to be able to kind of change your game plan on the fly uh, if you know what your opponent has, especially if you run into them more than once, which is fairly common. So basically with this, you can do your standard GVT lead or if you think your opponent is going to open something that is good against GVT, you can instead go for something like Valera Shadow with Natalie and Vol'jin to start it off. Um, really like the flexibility from this, and Sinestra has just been really good on the bench. Um, I think you could experiment with uh, other units, but so far I really liked her, and she has definitely won me some games. Really fun unit to use. You just have to be a little mindful about some of the tie situations as those can be a little annoying sometimes. So we're going to quickly go through the equipments here. Halting Sash, standard stuff on Grom, nothing changed. Same with Valera, Unnatural Smoke, and then Thrall with his trusty Doomhammer. Just this comp deals insane damage early on in the game, gets that nice speed momentum. You do just have to be a little bit careful about Localar though. So if you do run into a local R lead, you might want to intentionally use some of your slower skills like Fan of Knives and uh, Blood Fervor on turn one to kind of play around that. But sometimes they play around you playing around that and target the Valera, so there can be some mind games there. Um, next up we have Natalie. I've been trying out Eye of Shadow on her. It's pretty good. Um, I still really like Splinter of Nodrazil. I'm not 100% uh, sold on either one of them over the other yet, so I'm going to be doing some testing with this comp, but for now, we're going to be trying things out with Eye of Shadow. Vol'jin, we have our Ring of Haste, as is tradition, just gaining that extra speed for Natalie and himself, along with Sinestra, who does have a Shadow ability as well. It's really nice, and you can actually combo and get that additional Shadow weakness to buff up your Twilight Extinction turn. So you set it up so you get Twilight Extinction off with Sinestra, then the next turn you apply some Shadow Weakness, end of turn, goes off, deals some additional damage, which is very nice. And last but not least, we do have Sinestra here, rocking the Mana Brooch. Uh, I think this is generally the best equipment for her. I really do like Shard of Woe, um, and there might be something to it, but I think that requires a bit more of a dedicated and stally build, and this build is more uh, aggressive, I would say. So it does. I don't think it really ends up fitting too well there. The games today are going to be from my stream. So if you don't know, I do stream over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash zombies go nom nom, with a Z at the end of zombies instead of an S like you're on YouTube. So if you want to catch some more Merc stuff, live definitely come hang out gonna try to have a streaming schedule up later on this month but for the time being i usually stream later on in the evening est time so that is our comp that's our equipment and get into some games here but if you are enjoying the content do remember to like and subscribe really does do a ton to help out the channel and keeps the mercs videos coming so, without further ado, let's get into the games. But now he can change his opener too. Mm -mm 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 Here 
We killed the Valera, right? Yeah. Wait. Uh, smack Barden. Is it? I don't. I don't know if I agree. Like, I feel like it messes you up more to screw up their Valera combo, right? That's how I feel about this one. Because we go, that screws up their combo, so they're slow next turn. Then we can just snipe down Valera. Yeah, they live because of the cookie health. Valera is frozen, but... We can just, we can slow them so they can't snap us. Eh. I mean, is that even necessary? Could do more damage by just bop into Valera, kill Valera. I'll try Varden T1 next game. Feels like it worked out though. This is dead. This is dead. And we just set up Sinestra. I think it worked out. I can't battle Fury because uh, the Valir won't kill the Varden. Now I can do it, though. We can actually stack if we want to try and deny the snipe. Ah, I see. Interesting. Um, let's think about this. Yeah, battle. We can we can influence the flip though. Yeah, the local R is really the scary thing. Maybe we just have to try and kill this. Like... I'm not going to do this right away. I'm just, let me just count. I'm going to do the... I'm just doing the math. I'm not saying this is what I'm going to do, but that would be... 30. I have a calculator. 30... 25 plus 13... 68, not enough. I still want to send it in. I'm going to send this. Actually, I'm... Yeah, no. We're going to do this. And try and protect uh, Sinestra from damage. Yeah, maybe I should have AFK'd that turn, but maybe Shadow gets us there. Oh yeah, but he, they would have killed Grom anyway with the cookie snipe. This kill, yeah. <laughs> Nice. 
This comp's sweet. All right, Ray Ray. The stylus is necessary, bro. I remember. I remember my mom had a uh, had a cell phone, like an ancient cell phone, when I was a kid, and it had a stylus, and I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. And then, uh, then like the Nintendo DS came out, like or shortly afterwards or whatever, and I just blew my mind. Like I loved. Uh, I love that. Yeah, phones are expensive. That's also... You also have to remember that's Australian dollars, right? Because, like... You buy a, one of the newer iPhones or something, or Samsung or whatever, it's like... It can be up to a grand, I think. I don't know. I haven't bought a phone in a while. Yeah. I waited... I've had my phone for like four or five years now. I have a, I have an iPhone 10. I got that like a year after it came out or something, a few months. I'm not sure. I've, I've had that for a while. Gets the job done. What are we doing? Um, Fifteen. It's a flip if I do it on there. So we do this. I actually want to try killing the Tyrion first and force them to go one, 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 like openers. All right, take it easy, Dallas. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your uh, new phone. <laughs> yeah, I used to care about all that kind of stuff, like having the top of the line, whatever, when I was younger. But I don't really... Unless I, like... Unless it's very, like, useful, I don't see the point. Uh, like, I, I don't really use my phone for a lot other than, like, basic messaging. And a few apps here and there. The battery would, being better would be nice so I could grind mercenaries easier, though. <laughs> All right, that went that went pretty much how I wanted it to. Yeah, I don't like the giant phones. Like my mom has a bigger one and I hate that. I find the regular size is just what I need. I don't need anything bigger. I have a buddy who prefers the small one, though, so it's all, you know, personal preference. This gets sped up by Shadow, that's kind of cool. So we do the combo. Set up for the next turn. <laughs> I know, right? How dare people like different things? Ooh. 
Oh, no. <laughs> I was really hoping that wasn't going to be a Sinestra. So that deals 10, they're going to take 30 at end of turn. So I think we need to slam this in. Yep. Wait, Natalie lived. Oh, it's a tie. <laughs> also, welcome, E. Davy. Let's see how it goes. Now they switched. Say remem anyone remember what the four green comp was? It was like the first. He played this in the beginning of the stream. I mean, we just, yeah, GVT, right? Against four greens, GVT is always happy. Or should always be happy. Oh, it's Tyrion. It's this. Yep. Yeah, you're right, Davidson. Is Tyrion something? Which is a six speed, so... Yeah, Rogers is definitely on the bench. This is a flip, yep. <laughs> Normally I like the Grom Slam, but uh... Well, we won the flip. But normally, yeah, I agree with the, I, I like slamming Grom. Oh, cause Valera hit the Grom, right? So it was wasted damage. 25. So that'll be 50. We're actually one off killing this with the uh, ambush. Well, we still kill it, but we're one off getting an extra attack in. Yeah. Five. Wait. Oh, shit. Yeah. That was terrible order. Valera needed to go second. I, I just screwed myself. <laughs> that was bad order. Very bad order. This is one off, huh? That's annoying. Job done.
I'm really liking the shadow bench though. Feels great. The versatility in the opens, the It's just good. Illidan. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Big AoE. Wait. What? <laughs> I've never seen this. Magma horns. Apocalypse deals six more damage. Job done. Oh. Interesting. I guess they kind of need that with their bench. I think we just win now, though. Because they're slow, so we just... We heal to combo. It's not going to be enough to save the Valera, but it's enough to kill this before it can act, and then we set up Twilight Exchange and we win. Yep. GG. That was a cool game. Enjoyed that one. Let's try this. Oh, wait, no, we just kill Valera, right? Boom, boom, boom. It's a flip. Um, it's a flip worth taking, though. Nice. Valera's gonzo. Feels like a lot of unnecessary damage for them to take on Cornelius. All right, Curse of Weakness.
We send... Oh, God, it's a healing fish. Ugh. That's disgusting. I hate calculating this on uh on him. All right, so it's 14 minus 3, right? It's 14 minus 3 doubled, so 22 instead of 28. Direct damage. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to give them the free healing. We throw this in so they don't get a snipe. Two. Oh, it's one off. Ugh. Annoying. I mean, he's still dead, but... Okay. Sinestra time. Bellin. Hmm. I don't want to AoE because it's going to scale up their Anduin real slow to mess up their combo. Smack it. This is more damage. Wait. Oh yeah, I can give them Shadow Weakness next turn. That's good. Good call. Okay. What's his last screen? Oh god, please don't be a Sinestra. <laughs> I mean, it's an interesting comp. For sure. It's a Tyrion. Okay, then we're fine. Twenty six. Job done. I mean, I, I'm pretty confident Sinestra will win from here. The scary thing with Tyrion, though, is they can Divine Shield up the Sanduin. 
So since we're not really worried about damage, maybe we swing in to try and prevent that. Or we could just try and zap it, but that comes down to a speed tie. If they do that, we get a heal on our Natalie, though. Not really see a reason to not swing here. Interesting. Yep. Yeah, they're not accomplishing... Oh, I guess they can... We can stack our twos, though. To stop them from swinging in and trying to kill us. Yep. And we should win from here, I think. I mean, even reducing the damage, just I don't think it's doing enough for them, right? Oh, your game keeps crashing? That's bugging. Or, er, that's annoying. Not bugging. <laughs> Maybe it is a bug. Sounds like it could be a bug. It buffs himself. Yep, Anduin's dead, now we win. They don't have enough damage, so we can do that. Job done. Absolutely wild game. Oh no, it comes down to a flip, huh? Because they're big enough. Let's go. That's crazy. So well played by them. Wow. That was a really close game. Wait, one second. Can they still win from here? They can't swing because they just die if they swing. Yep, he swung, dies to the AoE. Really close game at the end there. They actually would have had it if they won that flip at the end. So, this comp is really good. Um, even with the addition of Localar being a very strong counter against typical GVT stuff, um, I think this comp really does have a place in the meta. It's also worth noting you can focus down a opposing local art with Valera Natalie Volgen, I believe, with this equipment here. The only way 
that uh, it survives is if they have both uh, max local R and have a cookie buff. And kind of surprisingly, Cookie has actually been seeing a little bit less play as we've been seeing a little bit more variety in the benches people are bringing. So because of that, people are having a harder time to uh, find a slot for Cookie since he's not really great against things like Sinestra. Um, so I think he, even though he's still an incredible unit, he's definitely falling out of popularity a little bit, um, which is good because that means you can open with... Uh, the Shadow Valera open and just deal with the local R right away uh, without having to worry about him surviving and nuking your whole board, punishing you for going fast. So yeah, this comp is really sweet. Um, definitely recommend giving it a try, especially if you enjoyed the playstyle of the old GVT build. I'm sure GVT nature is still good, but I think this one is a bit more fun to play and I really enjoy being able to swap up my opener like I mentioned before. But that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, do remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.